Hello. Alrighty, so today I pulled out a piece of scrap paper. And it's about half the size of a card front. Yeah, it's a little bit less than half the card the size of a card front. I just grabbed it because I can lay it on a card front when I'm done. So, and if you want these exact measurements, it is two by five and a half. Alrighty, so before coming on then, I used my little pendant, um, my little flag board, uh, punch, flag punch, let's talk right, Barb. And I punched out a bunch of little scraps, so I wanted to just make this into a background and make it into a card. So, this is what I'm thinking of doing. Laying it right on there. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just overlapping them where the, the fishtail is. This is something that you can certainly make with your one inch or less scraps that fit perfect right up to the top. <laughs> Very good for me. Go wiggling off. And it's fun to do this with scraps because then they come out different every single time. It just looks so neat. nice. Reminds me of a shingles on a roof. And I chose a smaller piece so that that way you're not taking forever. I mean, this size is, is going to be long enough of a video for you versus if I would have done an entire card or entire sheet. But I just wanted to show you the, the gist of how to put this together. So this way you know. So pretty get some duplicates here. Let's turn the pile over here. This is a piece of the inside of an envelope. These colors are nice and warm. This is another great way to use up the papers that you don't really care for the design on it. So like a few of these, then they're actually baby papers. And I really don't make very many baby cards every once in a while. But my babies are all grown up. <clears throat> yep. 
And my crowd now is a bunch of old ladies. <laughs> yep. I'm in the old lady groups now. This is perfect for a male card or a female card. Gender neutral. This depends on how you, what you put on it, that's all. Which is funny, I had someone tell me the other day, why did you make a man's card with flowers? Well, why not? I have male friends and relatives who love flowers and they're the ones who garden, not their wives. So they appreciate flower cards. Not all men are into sports. Not all men are into being a fixer-upper kind of guy. I know. Both of my daughters tend to know more about fixing their house problems than their husbands do. They figure them out. That looks really nice. Let me bring this up closer to you so you can see. What do you think of that? Isn't that neat? And it's all made with this punch. And I got it on Amazon and yes, I will. I will put that link on my in the description for you. Alrighty, so now let's figure out how to make this into a card. So let me grab a card. And let's see. Simple thing would be just go go ahead and glue it down. But I think I might want to put another paper behind it. Oh, let's see. DSP. Actually, that would be pretty kind of. Wow. Wow. That would be really bright. Okay. There, I thought I had another piece of that in there. Maybe that one. Or going this way. That's an idea. Yeah, why not? Let's cut that one. All right, so let's cut this one to size. Oh, let's see. We need it to be five and a, five and a half by, and you know what? I don't even need it the whole length of the card either. So I just need it. How wide is this? Yep, yep, yep. This is two inches wide, so I just need four and a quarter. Alrighty, so if I do maybe about two and a half, then I can just overlap it just a wee bit. That would be nice. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on. Do I want to put the flags on this side and this on this side? I think so. Yeah, let's do that. All right, and because this is kind of, it's embossed, then I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my tape I think that'll that's the best way to adhere this type of stuff down. And this tape I get on Amazon also, and yes, I can link this tape. All righty. I like to burnish it on there real good. 
there's a neat trick of the trade. Fold over each corner. And then we can lay it down. All right, so then you can lay it down and move it around. So you can move it all over the place here. Which is nice so you can move it into place where you want it which I think I want it right here and then you just press it down in the middle and you pull these little strips out and when each time you pull one of these strips out it's gluing it down ta-da give it a good press turn it over press it on the back side now we can put this on alrighty that's really nice I like that and it raises the whole card up on that side which is really cool all righty oops this way okay nice I like that okay so now we need something to go down the center there I like to cover up the lines so you can go in my handy dandy strip container and let's see brown do I want gold gold might be a good idea all right this is gold and I've got regular gold in here somewhere too as I took it out oops there it is aha uh -huh. all right more gold I think I might need this. Okay. Let's see how many I have in here. I have to cut some more strips. These are not long enough. Okay. I would have to piece those, but that's okay. I've got more in there. Right there. That one's long enough. Alrighty. So I need to make some more real quick where are my little scissors right there that's not trimmed up proper okay so we need to add some tape on here gotta love this double stick tape that on. Nice. Alrighty. Then we just need to cut some strips. out of the way and we've got these alrighty so let's put this on It's very pretty. Just a little tiny bit of gold. And look at what it does for that. Doesn't that look handsome? Nice card. Okay, you stay on there. Alrighty. So, we can put that in here. That came out nice. Okay, so the extras we can put back in here. Or do I want to put another row on here? Yeah, let's do another row.
come on down there. There you go. Nice. That it? Oh my goodness, that's what I trimmed off. Okay, silly me. All right, that looks very nice. So we've got a border up there, and we've got a border down here. Nice. All right. That looks very nice. I'm impressed. All righty. So this can definitely be a male or a female card. And I'm liking that. I know my viewers keep saying, more male cards, please, more male cards. So this is definitely a, a way to use your scraps for a male card. Let's see, what else? Um, 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 um. Where's my, where are my animals right here? I do owls on it. That could be either or. That would really match, wouldn't it? Let's trim this baby out and let's see how it would work. Actually, I think I want to glue it together first. So it'll be thicker. Trying to see through the paper to see where the owls are. Right there. Alrighty. That looks good to me. Spread that glue out. Good. Alrighty. Now we can fuss and cut it out. funny too some people don't like to use pink for a man's card and I have uh, two brothers who love pink a grandson and a son-in-law who love pink got a son-in-law who loves Hello Kitty for that matter <laughs> so anything in pink or Hello Kitty then he's thrilled So for mail cards, then you really have to think about the person that you're giving the card to. If it's going to be a just a general, you know, that design because you don't know the person very well, then you know you'd want to be more careful, of course. But you definitely don't want to just send them a Hello Kitty card. Um, they may definitely may not enjoy that. But most men. Don't mind an animal card or anything that has to do with water or air. So, some people like to picnic. Some people don't. Some people work. Some people don't. There's so many ideas that you can use for, for men cards and boy cards. And it doesn't have to be sports. My, do my granddaughter, both of my daughters were really into sports when they were in school. My granddaughter is very into sports. My one grand grandson was never into sports. His his mother and father really wanted him to be in, into sports. Well, the, my, my daughter didn't really care either way if he wanted to or not, but his, his stepdad really wants him to be in, into sports because he was, he was in football. And, uh, oh gosh, it was hysterical trying to put him into different sports. <laughs> He tried soccer, and he had more fun twisting his body up in the net, <laughs> getting all tangled in the net, than he was with actually playing the game. It was hysterical. And he tried t-ball. And he he never really liked to. He liked to run if somebody was chasing him, or if, or if he would grab something and he wanted to keep it from you, then he would run. But to run for a sport, he he just was not into that. We finally now, 
he's finally just now this year, or last year actually, when he turned 14, they finally listened to him and because he said he wanted to get into fencing. So that's what he does now. He does fencing. And that is an awesome, awesome, amazing sport to do. Takes a lot of practice and a lot of thought and a lot of muscle. Oh my goodness. He's got to practice and practice and practice for that. But he's really, really into it. So, which is nice. So, and he's amazing at it. And he's picked it up so quick. Yep. All righty. This is perfect for this. I like it. All righty. So, let's get some. 3D foam and put that up behind it. Okay, and I need another little piece. Yes, like this. But I want to have these. Whoops. Just want a little piece because I want to get this to stand up but not get all the way down. So if I fold that over, then I can glue the two ends. This one, I kind of want it to pop up in the middle, but then fold down and glue down on, on either end with these ones. So that's good. So I got that one, okay, and then this one, I guess this one can go flat down, okay. So you gotta think ahead of what you wanna pop up. Actually, I think I wanna pop up this leaf and that needs to be glued again. Oh, there's plastic behind there. That's why. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Alrighty, so I need to trim that off. Put that right behind the leaf there, and then I can bend that one up. Perfect. So now I can put glue on the bottom of this branch. On this leaf and that leaf, that side of the branch, this side of the branch this side of the owl in the middle of the two owls and on this side of the owl okay and I need a pen so I can hold this down do I want to put it yeah maybe I'll put it up on top here okay so we want to put this down oops probably help if I peel the backs off huh <laughs> silly me I remember when my my kids were born and my nephews were born around the same time and uh, especially my first daughter when my first daughter was was born then she, she had a, a girl cousin that was born the same week because me and my sister-in-law both had our babies the same week my mother's first two grandchildren and uh, and then when I when I was I was knitting sweater sets and I I knitted a set for all three of the kids and so and I just did green and yellow for for all three of them so and I did flowers on the on the two girls I embroidered flowers on them and the boys I just left it plain so and then I got a little pair of pants and I thought, oh, I want them to have jeans. And back then it was hard to find jeans <laughs> for little babies. So my husband had grown out of a pair of jeans or, you know, he wore through them. So I thought, perfect. That's a lot of blue jean material. So I was able to get, th make three pairs of little blue jeans for all three, one pair for each kid. And I put flowers on the two girls and I put a little car on the little boys. That was so cute. This came out nice. I like that. What a handsome looking card. And how appropriate for male or female. Don't you agree? That's so nice. Alrighty, it needs a word. And for, Chris, for Christmas that year, then all three of the kids, I made them each a, a rattle doll. And so, and I just used the old canisters from the film. And I put beans in them and I stuck them inside the inside the uh, dolls and I made the dolls red and green like Christmas colors and I just embroidered a little um, car 
on the one for the little boy. I do like that. On the one for my little nephew. And uh, his mother was so taken back because I gave her son a, a doll for Christmas. And she said, he's, it's, he's a boy. Why would you make him a doll? And I said, well, because your husband is a very good daddy. And I said, don't you want your son to grow up to be a good daddy like your, your husband? And she said, well, yeah, of course. And I said, well, does, don't you think he needs to practice then? And she said, well, yeah, of course. But, but you can't give a, bo a boy a doll. And I said, sure you can. How else is he going to learn? And I said, if you look around, a lot of boys that don't have dolls, they're playing with their sister's dolls all the time. And I said, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, but she said she had never thought of that. And she came back afterwards and she said, you know, I thought about what you said. And I said, and she said, it was true. His daddy is a really good dad and I do want him to grow up to be a good dad. So then everywhere we went, then she would take that doll for for her son. And he sure did love it. That was nice. All right, now that looks nice. And now I'm wondering if I should put one of these on here. Why not? Good idea. It'll match. There. All righty. So that's all done. So male or female card, what do you think? I love it. Alrighty, so there you go. I hope you like this card idea. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.